Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Warframe damage video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over crit and crit damage. Critical hits can be a pretty confusing mechanic, especially for new players, because there are different tiers of crit chance. And what I mean by that is that in other games where you get to 100% crit chance and it just stays there, in Warframe, if you get to 100% crit chance, your damage actually increases. And that'll happen for every subsequent 100% crit chance you gain. And you can tell what tier of crit damage you're dealing by the color of the numbers dealt to the enemies. So a regular crit is going to be yellow, a tier 2 crit is going to be orange, and then anything above that is going to be red. Although the game doesn't actually change the colors past tier 3. So once you get to tier 3, you're going to be seeing that red color on all of your crits. This applies even if you're higher than tier 3. The tier 4, tier 5, tier 6, and so on are all going to be red. And for the most part, this doesn't really matter because you're not going to be getting to those higher crit tiers unless you're probably using something like Blood Rush, which will increase your crit chance, and I'll be talking about that later. But to understand the very basics of what a crit is, let's take a look at the Soma Prime, my favorite example weapon. So the Soma Prime at base has a 30% crit chance and a 3 times crit multiplier. The critical multiplier is how much more damage your crits are going to do. And you have a 30% chance with each pellet of the Soma Prime to deal a crit. Which means that if you take an unmodded Soma Prime, that 12 base damage will then become 36 crit damage if you hit that 30% chance to crit. And depending on how much crit chance and crit damage you have on a weapon will determine whether or not you should build that weapon for crit. Although because crits can increase your damage by a tremendous amount, most of the better weapons in Warframe have high crit chance. Or at the very least you're building them for crit because crits can increase your damage substantially. And they'll even increase the damage that your statuses are dealing. So even if you're building for status, you can also build for crit to further increase your damage. And that goes for things like slash procs, toxin procs, etc. Now like I mentioned, Warframe is different than other games. So you have your base crit chance, right? And then you have your crit damage, which is how much your damage is going to be multiplied by. But Warframe is unique because it throws in another multiplier, which is what your crit tier is. The crit tier is anytime you go past 100% crit chance. The wiki has a nice little table that shows the different crit tiers, so let's check that out. As you can see here, like I said, tier 1 is yellow, tier 2 is orange, and then past tier 3 is all going to be red. And that color is just your damage number color, which will tell you what tier of crit damage you're dealing in the game. So just for an example weapon here, I'm going to use the Rubico Prime. And that's mostly just because I have a ribbon that will increase my crit chance over 100%. So as you can see here with Point Strike and my ribbon, my Rubico Prime has 164.5% crit chance. And what this means is that I have a 100% chance to deal a regular critical strike. But on top of that, I also have a 64.5% chance to deal an orange crit. Now what does dealing an orange or higher crit mean? To understand how crit tiers affect your damage, let's take a look at my Rubico Prime. At base, the Rubico Prime deals 187 non-crit damage. If I were to then add Point Strike onto it and increase my crit chance to 95%, I'll basically be guaranteed to get the 3 times crit damage from the Critical Strike, bringing my damage up to 561. Now the reason I've chosen the Rubico Prime here is because I have a Riven that will further increase my crit chance. This Riven also increases my damage, but don't look at that because that's just multi-shot and that's not actually what the pellet is going to be dealing. It's just how the game represents multi-shot damage. So now with the Riven, I have 164.5% crit chance. What this means is that I have a 100% chance to deal a critical strike, and on top of that, I have a 64% chance to instead deal a tier 2 critical strike. So just to make it clear, I'm not dealing two different critical strikes, I just have a chance to instead deal a tier 2 instead of a tier 1. And that's what the extra 64% represents. So to figure out how much our tier 2 crit's going to be dealing, we use this formula. We take 1 plus the current crit tier, which is tier 2, so 2, multiplied by your modded crit multiplier. Now for this example, I'm just using the base crit multiplier. So on the Rubico Prime, this is 3, which gives us a total of times 5 damage, meaning that our tier 2 crits are going to be dealing 935 damage. Now I do want to say here that the damage numbers are going to be different in game because of damage effectiveness against certain enemy types. So it could be more or less depending on what you're shooting. But I'm just using this as like a numbers example. If we were to then add Vital Sense to our Rubico Prime build, the base crit multiplier would then move up to 6.6 .6 times, which means that our tier 2 multiplier moves up to 12.2. If we were able to then increase that again to the tier 3 crit, our critical multiplier would then become 37.6. So by having a high base critical damage multiplier, and then increasing our crit tier, we're able to deal huge amounts of damage. And by having the different crit tiers, Warframe basically creates different breakpoints for crit chance. So every 100% crit chance you get, that's what I would call like a soft breakpoint. Even though having more like I have here at 160% is still good, you want to have, you know, 200% if possible. Just to guarantee that extra damage. Which is why on something like Eidolons, people run Harrow in conjunction with the Rupico Prime to get that extra 50% crit chance 
which then puts you over the 200% marker. But something like an Adarza Kavat will also accomplish the same goal. Which brings me to the flat plus crit chance bonuses in the game. So there are weapon mods like Point Strike that will increase your crit chance on a certain weapon, but there are also flat plus crit chance bonuses you can get that will add on top of your current crit chance. The most obvious source for this in the game is probably Heroes 4, which will give you plus 50% crit chance on top of whatever your current crit chance is. I'm not going to be going into the ability here, but basically all you need to know is that it gives you plus 50% crit chance. So my Rubico Prime here that has 164% crit chance, if I were to then have the Hera buff, that would then turn into 214% crit chance. So the Hera buff isn't adding to your base crit chance, it's just giving you plus 50% crit chance on top of whatever your current crit chance is. So here 164 plus 50 equals 214, which should hopefully be pretty simple. And the other two sources in the game that work exactly like this are Arcane Avenger and Cat's Eye. Arcane Avenger will give you plus 30% crit chance, and Cat's Eye will give you plus 60% crit chance. These are both pretty good sources of crit chance if you're looking to get more, and I'll leave a link below in case you want to know more about either of those. And while those three work on any of your crits, the biggest plus crit chance bonus in the game is Maiming Strike. This is a melee exclusive mod that gives you plus 90% crit chance when you sly attack, and is often paired with weapons like the Adarax that has a large range and good attack speed. Maiming Strike by itself is okay, but when you pair it with Blood Rush, it becomes insanely powerful. And honestly, I would argue that Blood Rush is the more powerful mod here. Blood Rush is another melee exclusive mod that you get from the Acolytes or from Lua, and what it does is it gives you 165% crit chance per combo multiplier. This works just like Weeping Wounds if you watched my status video. And for whatever reason, this works off your total modified crit chance. That means that if you put Maiming Strike on the Atarax and you slide attack, your slide attacks effectively have 115% crit chance. So let's just pretend that we have a 2.5 times combo multiplier, which is like a pretty reasonable combo multiplier. At 2.5 times melee combo multiplier, the Atarax's slide attack crit chance with Maiming Strike and Blood Rush, only those two mods, is 580. That's a tier 5 crit. Now remember, the red crits are just anything past tier 3, so you'll still see red crits. Now because crit tiers scale with crit damage, let's put on Organ Shatter and see what our modified crit damage is at a 2.5 times multiplier. Causing a tier 5 crit increases the crit multiplier to 24.5. 24.5 times damage. That means that the base 96 slide attack damage is increased to 2,352. And that's before you take any damage mods into account. This is just three mods dealing this damage. And obviously it can scale even higher if you have more crit damage or a higher combo multiplier. Which hopefully shows you why people run Maiming Strike with Blood Rush on their builds and why the combination is so strong. Maiming Strike gets a lot of attention for the crit chance, but it's really Blood Rush that's going to boost your crit damage up so high. And things like the Harrow buff as well as Cat's Eye will also increase your damage here, but Maiming Strike is just a good source of guaranteed damage, with slide attacks already being very strong on top of that. But while we're on the subject of melee, let's talk about the Gladiator mods. The Gladiator set bonus works just like Blood Rush does. Oftentimes you probably won't see these mods in builds simply because you have to use so many of them and the relative power compared to their counterparts that already do the same thing is fairly weak. But they can be pretty useful even if you're only using something like Gladiator Might for an extra 15% crit chance per combo multiplier. The more confusing crit bonus comes from the Vigilante set. And the Vigilante set has a chance to enhance your critical hits from primary weapons. This means that your critical hits will be taken from like a tier 1 to a tier 2. The enhance just refers to the tiers of crit, which I don't think are ever referred to in the game, so I'm not sure how people are supposed to know what enhance means without checking the wiki, but that's a whole nother thing. But basically, each of these mods is going to give you an extra 5% chance to deal the next tier of critical hit damage. So you'll go from like a tier 1 to a tier 2, or a tier 2 to a tier 3. So if you're using a weapon that has a high fire rate, these have a pretty good chance to enhance your crits, but they're only going to work on your crits, so your non-crits won't suddenly become crits because they get enhanced. Still, it's a pretty good set bonus, and it's worth knowing about, especially because most builds are at least going to be using Vigilante Armaments. So just to recap, your crit chance is based on your weapon's base crit chance modified by any plus crit chance mods, and on top of that you have any plus crit chance modifiers like from Harrow or the Cat's Eye buff from your Adarza Kavat. And then Blood Rush, for whatever reason, works on top of all of that and is just very, very strong for creating crit chance with melee weapons. I'm hoping this video covered most of what you need to know about crit chance and how it works, as well as covering some of the formulas and how they work, because while it's not super important to know exactly how much damage you're dealing, I think it's pretty important to understand where the damage comes from and how you can increase it further. Because understanding the interaction between something like Maiming Strike and Blood Rush can be very important to increasing your melee damage, even if you're doing more than enough to kill most of the content in the game. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you later.